So I've had some students ask me, Ms. Fleming, anytime we have a problem that has more than one operation in it, add, subtract, multiply, divide, which one do we do first? So mathematicians have, around the world have set up a specific order of operations, and that's the one that we have to pay attention to in order to get the right answer. If we don't follow that order of operations, this problem could come out all sorts of different ways if you just choose the operation that you do first, that you like first. So we're going to pay attention to the order of operations. And to help us remember that, your parents, your grandparents might have learned the word PEMDAS, and that's the order. PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide from left to right, or add, subtract from left to right. So that's, those are the orders that they learned. But if you don't remember what PEMDAS stands for, how are you going to be able to use it to solve your problem? So we've created a song for us, okay? And that song goes like this. Parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide from left to right, add or subtract from left to right, order of operations, okay? So parentheses, that's those things that are grabbing your attention, the grouping mechanisms, the grouping brackets. So that's what parentheses stands for. Okay, exponents, that's the power of a number. But we don't have exponents in this problem, so we won't do that step. Multiply or divide. So we're not going to use that as two different steps. It's multiply or divide, whichever one you see first reading it left to right. That's the that's one step in itself. Okay, and then my one, two, three, my fourth step is add or subtract. So those, those steps are not separated. So I'm gonna write it add or subtract from left to right, okay? So whichever one you see first as you're reading the problem because we read from left to right, okay? So knowing that, we're going to solve this problem, okay? The first step, parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide from left to right, add or subtract from left to right, order of operations. I see parentheses. So I'm going to solve that portion first. Two times three is six. Now I still have a lot of this problem left, okay? So I've done that step. The next step is exponents. Since there are no exponents in this problem, I move on to the next step. The next step, multiply or divide from left to right as I'm reading it. So multiply or divide, I do see division, so I'm gonna circle that and I'm going to solve what's attached to the division problem. Eight divided by four is two. Now I still have problem parts of the problem left, so I'm gonna attach that to it. No more multiplication or division, so I can step down to step four. Step four, add or subtract from left to right. So add or subtract. I have addition first, so I'm gonna add first. So 16 plus two gives me 18, and I have minus six left, so 18 minus six gives me 12. So I finally solved that problem. Now this problem will be solved the same way wherever you go in the world, whatever country you go to, because Math is that universal language, and everyone in the world follows this same order of operations. 